Hey everyone, today we're taking a closer look at the Moore GE1000. Um, this is the non-lithium ion battery edition. They do have a lithium battery edition that makes this battery powered. But I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at the build of this if you're thinking about buying it. This thing is built like a tank and works like a computer or iPad. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. Let's just get started with the connections on the, on the back. You have an input effects uh, loop, and then you have XLR left and right out. You have quarter inch outputs left and right, headphones, uh, lift and ground in case you're getting a little noise, and then a MIDI in and out and a power. And it even has a USB-C too, so maybe like uh, to connect to your computer for the software, firmware updates, all that kind of stuff. This is really nice too. Um, this is so your power cord does not fall off, which I'm going to plug in in just a minute, but I really do appreciate that. Nice graphics on here. You got really good stomp pedals, expression, volume, wah pedal right here. You do have a master volume, home save settings, selection uh, knob that feels really good. These are all very high quality feeling knobs and buttons. So let's go ahead and power this up. I want to give you a look at the touch screen and show you a couple quick features. Um, so you hold down the power button to power it up. <clears throat> it's going to go ahead and turn on. Really cool graphics, as you can see there. And this really does work almost as a computer. Uh, so detailed and so so many things going on in here. Very cool. But I'll show you a couple things real quick as the purpose of this video is mainly to give you a closer look at what you're buying here. So there you go. There's your touch screen right there. One really cool thing, just hold these two down and you have a tuner. Okay. So you can tune your guitar. And then right here, if you hold these two down, you do have your drums. You can turn your drums on and off. You can record and you, this is basically a groove station. So you can like jam, solo and record uh, and save the projects, which is really cool. So let's go back ahead, go back to the home screen. And basically the best part about this is you have a bank, right? So you can push this and these three become any of these that you want to select. So you can do it all on the fly. So if you want punk lead, just go ahead and hit that button. Now, when you're in here, you're going to see like the different amps and uh, the pedals that they're using to get this lead. And so you can obviously just click on any of these in your chain and you can adjust all the settings on here, okay? So you have your threshold, your decibels for the noise killer, uh, your 808, you just click on that. You have your tone and gain and volume. Sorry if there's some reflection there. But basically you can um, adjust just about everything. So very, very cool. And you can also use this drop menu too if you wanna kind of scroll through the different sounds as you can see here. Um, and then you see where it says empty, you can design your own, of course. But you have a ton of stuff on here. Blues, leads, cleans, choruses, you name it. Tons of stuff on here, very cool. A lot of my, uh, amp modeling. I mean, it just goes on and on forever. Clean solo, you click on it and there's your chain. There's your cab. Um, you can make all your different settings on your cab. So there's a lot of customization modifications you can do, but one of my favorite things is this uh, selection process. You can just click these up and down while you're on stage or live playing, and then select the one you want, and boom, you're in. So very cool, and then I'll just real quick show you. You hold down the button to power it down, and it actually says, are you sure you wanna shut down? And you say yes, so it really is essentially a computer pedal. But very cool, great purchase, love this thing.